Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Solve a problem in which you will further learn how to find out the shear force in beam or in any portion of the beam. So you can see example 6.01. In this problem, a beam is made of three planks nailed together, knowing that the spacing between nail is 25 mm and that the vertical shear in the beam is 500 newton. So determine the shear force in each nail. So these are these are three planks. This is one, this is two, and this is three, and they are held together by nails. Clear? You can see over here, these are the nails. Clear? And the shear force is given as V100, and you have to determine the shear force in each nail. Also, it is given that the distance between the nail is 25 mm. So if I draw it in three-dimensional, so you can see this is the beam so there will be one nail there will be another nail throughout the length of the beam they are held together by nail but it is given that distance between the nail is 25 mm so this distance is 25 this distance is 25 mm so this distance is actually delta x clear also you can see that this is the nail and this is the first this is the first plank and this way there will be a second plank so the shear force will be act horizontal shear force will be acting over this area of the nail where it they two they two are the both planks are meeting so we will find the horizontal shear force in the nail so let's start with the solution as we know that delta H is equal to Q into delta X and Q is equal to VQ over I into delta X. So first we will find the shear flow which is Q is equal to VQ over I. When you will find the shear flow then you will convert it into horizontal shear force. So we have shear force value, we do not have Q, we do not have I. So for that we will calculate first Q. As we know that Q is the first moment of inertia and this is represented as Q is equal to A into Y dash. Now what is the, what is A? A is the, A is that area in, that area which is above the horizontal shear force so at this joint there was a horizontal shear force so above that area is actually a area clear and this area is 0.1 meter into 0 0.020 meter also one thing that all the dimension of the beams are shown over here that are in millimeters so we have converted them into meter in order to have consistency in your, our units clear so this is thickness of the flange this is the total uh, this uh, sorry this is a thickness of flange similarly the lower flange will also have a thickness total height of the beam is 140 millimeters thickness of web is also 20 mm clear now what is y dash y dash is actually the distance from neutral axis to the mid of this area now the, the mid of this area is this clear and distance from neutral axis to mid will be this and what is this distance so if you look, look the half of it will be 0 0.010 and the half of this from this to this is 0. 050 so 0.050 plus 0 0.010 so total distance will be 0 0.060 meter so when you put the value area is this one and y dash is this one so it will give you the first moment of inertia for uh, this area clear now we have to find the second moment of inertia for 
this beam so you can see these beams are comprised of three planks now plank one upper and lower plank let is it is represented as one both have the same breadth and thickness and this is two this plank two this the middle web is plank uh, or portion two so we know that movement of inertia for this beam will be equal to i2 plus two times of i1 because the moment of inertia of this one and one that is two times plus the moment of inertia of this two so this this by using this equation we can find out the moment of second moment of inertia of this beam also you know that moment of inertia for rectangular beam is equal to or rectangular section is equal to 1 over 12 bh cube plus ad square now b is breadth h is equal to height a is the area of that section and d is the distance from neutral axis to the centroidal section the section centroid in our case for two second portion of the beam our web you can see that neutral axis is passing through centroidal section of this part two so d will be equal to zero for i2 so we will calculate i i is equal to i2 plus two time of i1 now 1 over 12 what is b of i2 which is equal to 0 0.020 and total height is 100 millimeter that is 0 0.100 so 1 over 12 b and this is h cube plus as d is equal to 0 so the remaining term will be 0 plus 2 times i1 now what is the moment of inertia second moment of inertia of i1 that is equal to 1 over 12 b what is b b is this distance which is mentioned over here and what what is height height is this thickness which is 0 0.020 so 1 over 12 b h cube plus a d square now what is the area of this it is 0 0.100 into 0 0.020 that is written over here and d square d is the distance from neutral axis to the centroidal section centroid so section centroid it is 0 0.060 so all the values are now available you can if you calculate them i will be equal to 16.20 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter 4 now we have v we have q we have i so you have to put the values when you put it you will have q is equal to 3704 newton per meter so this is shear flow in order to find the horizontal force delta h so delta h will be equal to q into delta x so q is also available and delta x is the distance between two consecutive nail so here they have represented horizontal shear force as f and we have written delta h is equal to q into delta x so if we replace delta h with f so f will be equal to q into x clear so q is 3704 newton per meter and x is 25 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.025 so when you multiply this so horizontal shear force comes out to be 92.6 newton so this was all about part first of the chapter number six I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any question, you can ask in comment section. Thank you.